of this section is form tracking implementation. In fact, it is to track the form submission. There are two prerequisites for form submission tracking. The first is the code structure. The structure of the form is required. The second is if the type of the submit button is the type of submit. The form tracking implementation can only be done if the above two conditions are met. The form needs to be submitted correctly to trigger. Suppose I want to do form tracking implementation for this place which is actually to do form tracking implementation for subscription functions. Visitors enter their email address in this place, and then click subscribe to submit. Let's first look at whether the code structure meets the two requirements above. Right click. Click inspect. Wait a moment. The page is not displayed yet. You can see here is the structure of the form. Here. Here. Button subscribe is the type whose type is submit. Let's set this form tracking to conversion. Which is Evers. Now go to Adobe Launch to set it up. Click Rules. Create a new rule. Name it subscribe. Then click. Then click Event. Select Submit for Event Type. Then some settings will appear on the right. In fact, the most important thing is the CS's selector. Return to the blog. Move the mouse to the position to be tracked. In fact, it is the button subscribe. Then right click. Click inspect. The cursor will automatically stay at the position where the code needs to track. Move the mouse to the position of the cursor. Then right click. Click copy. Click copy selector. Then return to Adobe Launch. Paste it in. That's it. If your page only has a form in one place. For simplicity. You can directly choose any element. But the premise is that it meets the two requirements mentioned above. We choose any element directly here. There are some other options below. Which do not need to be set up. For a detailed explanation, please refer to the previous section on event tracking implementation. Then save and exit. Then click Action. Extension Select Adobe Analytics. Select set variables for action type. Then find Nevars on the right. To use Evers. You also need to look at an Evers in Adobe Analytics. Assuming it has been set up. We will use it directly here. Set the value to subscribe. Finally save. Then create a second action. Extension select Adobe Analytics. Select Send Beacon for Action Type.
On the right, select Send Data to Adobe Analytics and do not treat it as a page view. Then save the file. The final effect is this. The final step is testing. Publish the settings to the test environment. Then go test. Now the code is packaged into the development environment for testing. Click Publishing Flow. Click Add New Library. Then click Save in the upper right corner. Then wait a minute. Until a library appears under Develop. Let Let's test it now. Return to the blog. Open Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. If your browser has not installed Adobe Experience Platform Debugger, please search and install it on Chrome extensions. Go back to the blog and refresh it. Wait a minute. Return to Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. Click Adobe Analytics. You can see the data of Adobe Analytics indicates that Adobe Experience Platform Debugger started recording. Let's test it first. Feel free to enter some characters. Then click Subscribe. See if it is triggered. Return to Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. You can see that there is no new sending data. That is, there is no trigger. It will not be triggered if the form does not submit the data correctly. Return to the blog. We enter a mailbox. Then click subscribe. Wait a minute. There is a hint. A subscription confirmation email has been sent to us. Return to Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. See if there is any data sent. The data sent is here. We set up Evers 5. Right here. We succeeded in tracking. In conclusion. Form tracking requires the code to have a form structure. The type of the button that submits the form should be the type of submit. Only when these two conditions are met can form tracking be done. That's it for this section.